that you have managed to warm up somehow because it's really cold outside. I hope that my presentation will give an answer to many questions and I'm quite mature on uh, the uh, market. I, I, I have skipped a lot of information in this presentation. I tried to um, make it uh, as practical as possible and as practicable as possible. Long ago when I started in this uh, segment, uh, I, I worked in the bank uh, industry at that time and when I just started, I, I lost a lot of money because of my mistakes. I'm Bogdan Sidorenko, the head of uh, the uh, Kiev uh, Office of Freedom Finance Ukraine. And hopefully I will be able to share some part of my experience uh, in an hour. I will not, unfortunately, be able to make you an asset manager, but I will tell you how to avoid mistakes. I am not an info businessman. I do not intend uh, to sell any course. I do not to sell anything today. My only purpose is to speak as a representative of a company which change many markets for better, and it is Freedom Finance. Four years ago I talked to the CEO and I heard about his goals, his vision about the changes of the market in the post-Soviet countries, and I saw the vision that can truly change the economy. We contribute as much as possible into the understanding of beginner investors so that they can avoid scams, they can avoid other problems. And our purpose, uh, first and foremost, to uh, have uh, accounts to accompany people. I only have three slides about the company, all the rest is about the practice. So we are uh, represented in nine countries, we have 85 offices, each physical person can physically visit an office and talk to a real person, because investment is something phys physical. On YouTube, the content you can find is often far away from reality. I've been in this field for quite some time and I know that it is necessary to see who is your partner and if the partner has fundamental experience. It's easier to uh, find it out if you are physically talking to the person. Some time ago I was traveling in Asia and it was 7 a.m. when I saw uh, the top of Everest. Nasdaq is the Everest of the financial markets because New York is the capital of the world. All the main invest stories, invest houses, macroeconomics, everything is centered there. And we uh, follow the norms uh, not only of the local regulators, but the most regulated segment of uh, the fund, uh, fund market, which is New York. Uh, this slide shows that we are not just a company that develops something locally. We can afford to buy a broker even in New York. And we uh, right now are one of the largest uh, companies, over four billion dollars of capitalization. Uh, Freedom House can be your platform to work with Hong Kong, Frankfurt, London. Unfortunately, we still don't have access to Chicago. And let's start with the practical part, with diversification. I believe everyone has heard about not putting eggs into one basket, but not everyone understands what uh, diversification means on the fund market. 
So uh, if you buy uh, shares of five IT companies, it is in fact diversification, but uh, this portfolio will uh, depend on the situation uh, in this particular industry. And some of my investors have 150 kinds of assets. It's not about buying a couple of cases, it's about buying in a number of different segments to be independent of a particular segment and to be able to save money even in unfortunate situations. So here are the main assets Freedom is working with. There are warrants and uh, other assets, uh, derivatives, but here are the main ones. Shares is the smallest uh, share uh, of the company. Uh, obligations is a debt. Uh, if you are buying this, uh, uh, you own a part of the debt of uh, the government, for instance, or of a corporation, uh, for instance, uh, Citigroup. Uh, most probably you have heard about this major bank, and uh, for instance, the deposits uh, cost about 1% in London, and their obligations uh, bring uh, 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 much more. So uh, I do not understand why people choose uh, deposits, uh, because you can get much more on the bonds. So uh, those who have any bank deposits, uh, you don't uh, have to risk. Uh, I actually don't have any bank deposits. I have never had them because bonds give you more protection. Because in the bank you have uh, a guarantee of 200,000, uh, but in the bonds you have a much higher uh, guarantees. You are going to be first uh, even if uh, the bank is uh, closed down. Such investors are better protected in uh, uh, unfavorable situations. So I will draw attention of all the investors, no matter how, how much experience you have in this field. ETF is a unique uh, product on the fund market. If you do not uh, own half a million dollars, but you want to or create a basket that enables some di diversification. Uh, this will help you. If you buy ETF uh, for uh, S&B 500, you are buying from 500 companies with the highest impact, the companies which have changed the world and which have the highest capitalization in the world. For instance, uh, Apple has a higher budget uh, than the Ukrainian government, the same about Microsoft or Google. If you invest on your own and if you uh, cannot select an asset for yourselves, check out this segment. Options and futures is something I will not explain today. It, it takes a long time to understand. Uh, these tools are more complex. You have to work at least a year and a half on the market but before that you just have to grow. Options are uh, possibilities and uh, futures are uh, uh, basically obligations. So let's start with a practice. You want to select some asset. Now this slide shows you a step-by-step selection algorithm. So uh, there are uh, analytics 
uh, houses which monitor assets uh, on a regular basis. There are specialized people uh, and they rate something as triple A, for instance, and so in this case the chance that something can happen is very low. And uh, there are other ratings as well. So once you invest uh, something, just pay attention to what institutional investors are saying. Uh, those who have some experience in this segment, I don't mean that they are always right, no, but their opinion is uh, something to be taken into account, because everyone else is taking this into account. Also a young investor, I mean uh, the less experienced investor, I should pay attention to medium and high capitalization. These are the companies uh, that uh, have been able to go through the valley of death. Those who managed to get to a certain situation in their field, and this is where they are. Uh, this is a way to minimize your risks. Uh, who has watched uh, Dude's interview about uh, the Silicon Valley? Yeah. Do you remember uh, the numbers uh, of startups that survive in the United States? So, what is the percentage out of 100% of startups? Which percent survives? Two or three? Yes, it's quite low. The chance of these medium and large capitalization companies is about 95% or higher. If a novel investor starts working on the market, uh, they should not start with maximum risks. They need to get some experience and they should continue interacting with markets. So once you are able to form your personal opinion, you should then pay attention to startups and other things, and I will say a few words about those as well. Next goes the fundamental potential of uh, growth. Of course, everyone who is sitting here would be willing to buy a Tesla shares back in 2009 or uh, Facebook shares when they cost $40. So. Uh, uh, these are just some examples, but if you find some jewels with a fundamental potential for growth, uh, you do not want to uh, sell this asset away uh, in a month or two. And by the way, uh, uh, I advise you to get only the assets which you would like to have in five years. So. If you believe that some asset is good, you understand the business model, it's easier for you to work with such an asset. It has some fundamental potential. The unique product it goes next. In every presentation here, we hear that we should create new services, new products. In retail, yesterday we heard about delivery, about new services, about changes on the market. So if there is no unique product, if there is no monopoly, uh, the company will probably not survive because globalization is here. If something is happening in New York in three months, in Kyiv there is an echo of this product. Market is becoming more aggressive. If we recall our work 10 years ago, uh, the market was uh, much more calm. If something was made somewhere else, uh, it took years for it to get here, but now it takes a couple of months. Next. It is easier to invest in companies which are leaders in their field. In any company, everything is built on people. And so this shows that the management has uh, achieved something that brought company this high. So even if you have a good product, but you don't have good management, it's just a waste of time. 
there will be fuck ups, there will be challenges, and the company will die. I saw a number of beautiful stories which did not have any future. So the company has to be strong in, in their field because this shows that they have good management. And one more thing I would like to mention. A beginner investor without much experience should not invest in companies with a downward trend. Of course, it can be lucrative. You probably can buy cheaper, okay. But if for a year the company did not have a growing trend, please do not start from that. Leave that for a later time. You can test something, but do not, do not start with this. And here is something about portfolio. Actually, uh, of course, uh, uh, this is in favor of the funds market. Uh, this market lets you uh, switch your capital from one segment to another. And if you understand that some field is stronger, such as uh, uh, cybersecurity, for instance, everyone is ready to pay huge money to, for instance, safeguard some photos f from some party, New Year's Eve party. And in the big companies, they are ready to pay even more. They have their own security services. Uh, they have protect uh, their IT systems from leaks. And this is something that is going to be developed. Uh, there is a trend of meat substitutes. Uh, I have watched a recent UN conference and I have heard that everyone is encouraged to make uh, meat uh, out of beans, for instance, uh, and uh, other uh, kind of uh, material. There are some differences from the traditional meat, but they are not critical, and maybe in a year or two uh, this will become unnoticeable. So the companies which drive technological uh, progress, uh, they are stronger and people are ready to pay for gadgets, for uh, healthcare services, etc. Next goes the news. The investor needs to have some understanding of macroeconomics and it will impact us in one way or another and it impacts uh, the capital of the investor. The macroeconomics enables a uh, stimulation of different fields and this is a good opportunity to earn. For instance, you know the unprecedented uh, situation with the Federal Reserve of the United States uh, of America uh, that was uh, given away money to bail out some companies to stimulate economy so that it doesn't die, and it was a great way to earn money. A few words about risk hedging. So you are buying some asset to compensate uh, for the losses in case losses are happening. And that's a separate topic and it truly deserves in-depth study if you want to work on the funds market. Uh, you should be knowledgeable about it and even in the regular business uh, you can notice that uh, successful business people have several businesses and in, in one segment they have a business that will always bring some minimum profit even in case of uh, unfavorable economic situation. And this is another way of hedging. I have already mentioned diversification and also never be in a hurry. Take your time. Sometimes you need to understand that on the market some information is uh, not available in the beginning. Sometimes there are hidden influences and sometimes you have to split uh, your money and buy the b asset you are interested in in stages. So you will not be uh, dependent on the local situation and the local situation is something under 8 
under nine months. Uh, this is one of the areas that are my favorite. IPO, the initial public offer. At the time when uh, the company becomes uh, available uh, on the market and many info businessmen just pay attention to only this field because it's about high profits. Well, I'm not one of those. So you, you should understand what you are doing. You cannot earn if you are blind to the risks. So this area demands some understanding, some in-depth study, and you have to uh, understand whether you are truly interested in an asset or if you aren't. So sometimes if I do not understand the business, I am not ready to invest into something. So for instance, the generics are uh, quite a different, uh, quite a difficult subject for me, so I am not ready to invest in that. If some startup is uh, maybe uh, uh, has chances to success in 2026, well, maybe, but uh, you need to, to, to have a, a good understanding of what you are going to do if something goes wrong. You have to understand what uh, percentage of your investment uh, uh, something like this can take. Only then can you have some understanding of how this works. Here is some statistics and it's awesome. Uh, in fact, uh, no one else in Ukraine probably can show some statistics. Here are some of uh, uh, the best profits. Nari company is the best example. Nari company is uh, helping people with a medical condition of thrombosis. They help people to heal and based on that, uh, the company managed to gain 500%. I also like the case of Schrodinger because uh, this is uh, the company I predict to have success in the future as well, because this company deals with uh, the needs of the biotech companies in the pharmaceutics industry, etc. It helps them to do their research faster. Instead of spending five years for research, they are able to spend just four years. So it's a great case to take in your portfolio. Uh, there are some also negative results, such as minus 58%, minus 49%. Last year, uh, there were some sad stories, sometimes even almost defaults. Uh, I remember some statistics. Uh, uh, of dropping from eleven dollars to twenty cents. Uh, sometimes it's uh, w it was even about the cases I personally advertised. Something that dropped from thirteen or for, from twenty four dollars to one dollar and twenty cents. So different cases, of course have to be considered, some diversification needs to be there, and you are earning on the delta. So you, you can take a photo of this slide. Here are some of the questions you need to consider when selecting a company. I will just name the markers that are the most important uh, to me. Uh, the percentage of shares uh, they are ready to uh, sell on the market. So if they are selling just uh, 5 to 10 percent, it's a good signal because the shareholders want to stay. If it is much higher, I uh, start to check them more uh, carefully. For biotech companies, 25% is okay, but for an IT company, it raises lots of doubts if this is happening. 
one more thing is why they are getting the money for and how this can change their business. Again, this is uh, not enough for me to invest, although everyone takes this decision on their own. In every business, in every investment, uh, there is a strategic component. So if someone approaches to their personal capital without uh, discipline, uh, sooner or later the situation will turn unfavorable for them. So if uh, the person is uh, uh, finding some strategy they are uh, ready to work with for 10 years or 20 years, uh, they become more successful because they have the understanding of what they are ready for and what they are not ready for. Each of you has to get such a strategy. If you are not an investor yet, you uh, can find uh, uh, something to begin with, but even if you start in the same way, in five years you will surely have differences. Some people will uh, be more conservative. For instance, some people are 70 years old. They visit the office once a year, their lawyer uh, visits the office uh, tw twice a year, they speak 15 minutes uh, about uh, their investments and 40 minutes about their grandchildren. And there are people who are much younger, who are 30 years old, who are ready to risk, who are ready to behave differently, who understand that uh, their capital is uh, limited and uh, they are not ready for the strategies that millionaires follow. And they choose a different portfolio. I cannot say that uh, this is uh, the best portfolio, but for a beginner, uh, this is something to start with, for sure. Everyone will be different. And, uh, of course, uh, the scopes uh, can be different, but these four areas are something to consider for uh, the beginning. So I'm sure that uh, in, in four years you will see that this gave you some experience and then you will make some changes. All the investors that started with this model got normal results, they minimized their risks, they gained some experience and they also learned to work with their capital. And a small insight for you. Uh, an American is not much different from a Ukrainian. An English person is not much different. The difference is uh, that uh, okay, some of them are more uh, financially literate. There are some trends. Uh, there is some impact of uh, the society. And this market is developed there. In Ukraine, unfortunately, it uh, was not developed. Back in 1994, we got a lot of industrial enterprises, but we did not have this financial experience. And sooner or later, we will get this. I believe that we will have a well-developed financial market. I see some dynamics of the development of Ukraine because I see the numbers, I see the statistics, I see that people are getting interested and it's a good trend. I believe that institutional investors, uh, I mean the legal entities which have uh, their staff and uh, who can uh, uh, also create uh, an uh, investment class of uh, uh, retail investors. Uh, I, for instance, have an apartment uh, uh, on uh, Yaroslavyev Val. Uh, back in the day I bought it for uh, 800,000. Right now it costs uh, 200,000. I check the price on a regular basis. It's uh, the apartment I bought to 
live in. So, of course, each market uh, has its booms and its downturns, but uh, the funds market is one of the tools, one of the opportunities to separate a part of your capital and to redirect it to some field. So. Uh, sometimes I, I work with investors for six years or more and I see people changing, I see people thinking differently and creating a different demand. So let us consider different levels. Again, the scopes can uh, change depending on what uh, the investor wants. So the core it's some balance for your portfolio, a stabilizer if you will, uh, and you, you should not ignore uh, this uh, area. Sometimes when I talk to the investors and uh, they know about the uh, uh, profitability of other assets, they want to avoid uh, the core. But actually, no, this is where the bonds are. Even in an unfavorable situation, uh, there will be some uh, fixed profit. Here we have gold, here we have uh, silver. Uh, so, for instance, uh, uh, the price of uh, gold over the recent years has increased from uh, $600 to over $1,000 per pound. Yeah alternative energy industry that's another area so you can select an alternative energy company uh, you can only have theories uh, about its success but it's difficult to predict it exactly but if there is some fund that buys uh, alternative energy shares in some proportions then you can earn uh, then cyber security what is better McAfee or a cloud strike it's a different uh, it's a difficult question for someone who is not working with this segment but you can buy a sectoral ETF and the uh, index of uh, those genres should be uh, 3500. Next, uh, blue chips. Uh, again, if uh, you if you buy Boeing at the low in 2020, you can forget about uh, this share for five years because there will be some progress for sure. And there are some long-term positions which let you earn not only this year but also next year and also in five years. You should not avoid those. For instance, uh, let's consider uh, biotech uh, companies. I have a personal story. I, I have a company where I invested and for three years I saw negative results. And uh, my employees say they knew that I was uh, buying from them. It was a long-term deal and uh, when I was abroad uh, I was visiting Dominicana for the new year and um, uh, this investment paid off my Dominicana trip and all of my other trips for the next three years. It happened very quickly, it happened on Christmas and you should not avoid such investments. Some companies cannot show uh, their result at once, but if you invest for three, for five years, uh, the results can be very encouraging. So, for instance, safety companies, uh, the companies uh, that work with the agriculture, uh, they have uh, the cycles of uh, sowing and harvesting. Of course, it's understandable that they will get their profits at the harvesting uh, stage. So, 
in some phases the company shows unfavorable trends, but in other periods it show favorable trends. Here are the uh, speculations, for instance, uh, the SPAC section. I do not uh, participate in this, and I cannot invest in something if I do not understand how this works, although it works uh, on a timely basis, but not always. Each quarter I start with uh, 40 positions uh, about different companies. Uh, quite good profits can be uh, generated. Uh, the presentations of new products, again, uh, something can go very well, but it uh, sometimes can go very wrong. So uh, you cannot have uh, a speculation investment beyond 1% uh, in one company. Again, uh, everything can go very well, uh, and in this case your profits will be limited, but in a negative situation your losses will be limited as well. IPO. Again, uh, that's my personal uh, position. If some company is uh, taking more than 20% uh, of my personal port portfolio, I start um, getting rid of it. In my personal uh, opinion, again, if, if the company takes uh, more than 5%, it's just plain common sense to uh, have uh, less of it because uh, the one company should not change the situation in the portfolio fundamentally. As for the stimulation of the economy, if uh, the situation is uh, favorable, well, this is a good time to risk. This is a good time to uh, buy some assets that can bring very high profits. But if the market is volatile, if it depends on some uh, political statement, then we should work with a fixed market. And uh, some people believe that bonds are not uh, the good way to uh, speculate on. I remember 2018 when uh, Poroshenko announced uh, martial law and the external debt uh, went down 18%, but those who read the document started buying it all at once. So the bonds uh, fell uh, to 83%, and in two years they cost 115%. So even if there is some fix asset but with a good potential, it's a good chance to uh, place your money and to earn much higher percentages than on a regular pay on the debt. So here is a chart from uh, uh, the recent years. It shows that there is no growth without correction. And on this chart you can see the faces, something that you could see earlier. And here you can notice that the phases go one after another. So this is a chart for 14 years, and sometimes we can see that an entire year is unfavorable, or three years can be unfavorable, but those who work in the long run they earn. You should look at the situation uh, fundamentally. You should seek for something that can bring results in 10 years. We want to get 100,000 or a million dollars tomorrow, but those who think strategically can get those money. Those who think locally, not always. Here is a list of some rules on how to work with the assets. Some mistakes or some facts. I will not go into a detail right now, but again, please take a photo. Uh, uh, these are the rules from one of the uh, well-known uh, asset managers. And uh, these are kind of road signs that always warn you of what's going to happen in the future. 
So uh, I, I already gave you some examples. If, if you understand that uh, the company can potentially uh, bring you uh, to 100 uh, percent, you should not uh, fix uh, your earnings at 15 percent. A lot of mistakes happen because of uh, inability to wait. It's happening not only in the funds market, but it, it's happening uh, even in the regular business or in personal life. You have to be able to wait and you can potentially get a much better result. I had this experience when I had an asset for a long time. I understood that it had potential of uh, about 200%. Uh, percent. I closed it at 30% or something like that, and then they get a confirmation from FDA, that's a certification that the medicine should get, and in a month, this happened uh, one month later uh, from the time when I left, and when I looked at the charts, I understood that I was wrong. I shouldn't have done it. Next year, I'm celebrating my 10th year on uh, the funds market. This September, I'm going to celebrate uh, nine years. And I'm still someone who makes mistakes. I still have to wait longer sometimes. So I, I share my experience uh, that was built uh, in different situations. So here, here are some regular mistakes that we see in uh, the behavior of investors. Freedom Finance has uh, created a unique service uh, that truly has a staff of trained investors who have the understanding of the market, uh, they understand the situation, and so the investors who do not take these recommendations into account, uh, they are in a much worse situation in the end of the day, because we see this situation on a daily basis. And of course, you can perceive investments as some hobby that uh, brings good uh, results. And such consultations can be very useful for decision making. So uh, sometimes there is a problem of uh, expectations, expectations that are too high. If you have such expectations, you uh, will have uh, the moment of disillusionment. If your expectations are lower, it's easier for you to work with any asset. I uh, recommend that you uh, take a look at our YouTube channel, Invest Talk. There is an interesting lecture uh, there, or you can also use our uh, website uh, that can answer lots of your questions. And right now I'm ready to answer the questions you might have. So we I will answer your question, and it's a great uh, question. So, uh, some time ago, uh, my mother, who is 70 years old, asked me, 
What exactly are you dealing with? Some securities, okay, you are uh, a person with uh, the financial education, why don't you work for some enterprise? Uh, well, people do not understand the legislation, that's uh, the problem. The funds market is highly regulated, it has nothing in common with the scam. So, for instance, if you are buying an uh, apartment, a flat, do you uh, own it? Yes. And if you are buying a car, probably yes. So let's make a comparison. You are buying a car and uh, renting it out, and uh, the car is parked at some uh, location. So if uh, the company that rents it out uh, uh, is uh, not in default, you still own the car. The same is happening at uh, uh, the funds market. There, there are depository institutions, and I, I already know the cases when someone well, placed a capital at the accounts of some bank in Luxembourg, and uh, uh, the uh, deposits uh, uh, you know, were not saved, uh, but uh, the investments uh, the, the, the were taken away. But yeah, but, but how do we get uh, the money? My experience shows that if uh, the company has any uh, problems, you, you are not contacting that company directly, it's a lawyer who is uh, contacting them. And on the international uh, level, there is a fund of uh, investors if the amount is uh, above a certain level, that's uh, the issue of ownership. If uh, you, for instance, had a uh, uh, 20,000 euros fund, and uh, uh, for instance, if you have half a million dollars, it, it makes a difference. So with a small capital, the risks are very low. So, uh, the, the question that you are asking has to do with uh, uh, legal issues, and your question has to do with uh, Ukraine. So, in Ukraine we have the National Commission on uh, Securities on, on Moskovska Street. So, there is a regulator which uh, has to meet uh, certain obligations. That's the issue that uh, needs to be studied in depth, and uh, it takes longer than a week or two. So th there is a regulator that works with this. So the National Commission on Securities on Moskovska Street is dealing with that. You are opening a new account in the depository institution, and any broker's organization uh, that is licensed uh, gives you the right of ownership. You as investor keep it. 
no matter which depository you are using. And depositories are used for uh, the convenience of uh, the customer. A good example would be uh, probably uh, switching a wire from one uh, socket to another. So when I started to work with Freedom Finance, I, I had some already un unpleasant personal experience. And as someone who uh, had uh, their capital, I tried to uh, realize how exactly uh, the money is managed. I did not want to lose the money. So. I'm speaking of uh, Freedom Finance Europe. In Europe, all the security uh, are delivered to the sub account, and uh, you have to contact uh, SISEC uh, uh, on the website. Uh, it's it's quite easy to do. You. So usually, uh, the lawyer uh, is working on Cyprus. If you are working with uh, 20,000 euros, just use a fund. If you have more, and I mean securities here, because the free capital is different in this regard, but uh, the shares, uh, options, uh, warrants, uh, uh, the bonds, you should uh, work with uh, SISEC. At, uh, if you are opening an account in a different depository, you uh, uh, pay for your clear, I believe, 1.3 euros. SISEC is a commission on uh, securities that work on each uh, local market with securities. It can be a structure under the National Bank or it can be a separate structure. It's a normal practice. So first and foremost, you, you need to contact the uh, regulator, then contact the depository where your securities are because uh, brokers and dealers they follow certain regulation and uh, without uh, uh, direct order we cannot make anything with uh, uh, your security. So there should be some legal uh, transaction, there should be some application for buying or selling or any uh, corporate action. Any other questions, difficult ones, the ones that I love most? My question is about IPO. So I heard information that if I have uh, $100,000 on the account and the allocation is uh, impossible for the full amount. Is it true? OK, I, I will answer your question. I will begin with the fact uh, of what allocation is. So if a company, uh, let's say, uh, is selling the 100 uh, million worth of uh, shares, uh, $15 each. And if uh, the demand on the market is higher uh, than the uh, scope of uh, uh, securities they are selling, so again, if uh, they are selling for $15 uh, million and uh, uh, the demand is uh, $45 million, dollars uh, the shares are distributed because you cannot uh, buy something that is not there anymore but here it's uh, the issue of uh, relationship the better relationship you have uh, the higher scope you get so for 100,000 get if if i apply i can get the allocation of uh, uh, $15,000 if your account is new maybe you can get allocation for uh, 500 so if I apply for $1,000, uh, uh, I get 85000 back uh, in money and uh, $15,000 uh, worth of shares. 
So d do you have to have dollars uh, in your account, or can you have just shares? So you 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 should not follow my example, but I am always uh, in the access, and I I am always uh, able to uh, apply. Uh, using shares uh, uh, as uh, a collateral, but you cannot, you should not do this as a beginner. You should work with investment experts. You should ask them if this can be a DD situation or in London, for instance, there was a company that uh, was dealing with deliveries. Sometimes allocations are up to 100%. So there uh, should be a communication. You, you have to ask if it is possible to get uh, an allocation that is this high. But on average, which, which would be the percentage of uh, allocation you are working with? So in, in good accounts, it, it was somewhere between a half percent or 15 percent or 20 percent. It depends on the company. I would pay attention. I would pay special attention to uh, the uh, placement of the company. If it is, for instance, 100 million dollars, you uh, should not expect a high percentage because that's not a big amount. But if it is 5 billion, well, the chances are much uh, better because you, you, you can get a bigger uh, amount in this case. So answering your question, uh, let's take a pic of this slide. Other questions? If you are getting 100 shares that were announced for $15 each, and if your uh, clients have applied for some, will they get proportions? Yes, they will. So if we are applying for, uh, let's say, uh, one uh, billion dollars, and we get confirmation for 150 million, so some of the customers will get 25 uh, percent, some customers will get 5 percent. It depends on the structure of the portfolio, because for the investors that have been working working for quite some time, it is, uh, I believe, quite fair to mm, allocate more than those who are just coming for the IPO, because experience matters. One more question. What is the general opinion of your company about the American market for uh, the nearest uh, future? What should we expect and what you expect from this market. In each portfolio I uh, have silver, in each portfolio I have uh, gold uh, and uh, some bonds in each portfolio uh, that uh, I uh, have to make. And also there are some uh, options as well. It's a way to be independent on the situation on the market. So based on some experience, you can safeguard yourself against markets. As for the market, okay, some unprecedented measures were taken. So if uh, the company is showing a good uh, dynamics, if uh, there is a restoration of the economy, if there is a success of vaccination, etc., then yes. But some local corrections can be happening. I pay attention to the following. So if you expect to work uh, just based on analytics, well, Goldman Sachs, uh, City Morgan, etc., they are making mistakes in their forecasts. So even if uh, the best have sometimes views which are not correct in the local situation, this shows that your portfolio has to be able to safeguard you from such situations. So if uh, uh, the reports are great, then we will 
keep going. If something goes more negatively, it's still okay for us. So, uh, for uh, the new customers, if you are coming to us uh, tomorrow or uh, I mean on Monday, uh, you would be recommended to start with the core and to buy it in stages, and you would be uh, uh, recommended to uh, start with the market uh, slowly to avoid misunderstandings. So, um, in March uh, last year, uh, I had uh, uh, those uh, buy-ins four times a month, but sometimes it's once a quarter. So, a good portfolio is formed over a longer time. Let's finish here. It was a pleasure to speak to you. I wish your capital to grow and I wish favorable trends for your investments.